YouTube, we're doing a different type of video today, and we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 and the future of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and why you shouldn't buy Modern Warfare 3. And this game, Modern Warfare 2, is so, so saturated. It lacks the most amount of content through any game that I can think of right now. Like everything we were promised in Modern Warfare 2, we're not getting into Modern Warfare 3. And that's essentially a DLC, if you know what I'm saying. I, I know some can argue that every Call of Duty is a DLC. Like the past Call of Duties are just DLCs. I get that. But what we are what we were promised in Modern Warfare 2, we're not even getting into Modern Warfare 3 and we have to spend another $70. That hasn't been the problem in the past. I know the uh, mechanics in the games like Vanguard, Cold War, and all those type of games, they were at uh, 2019 Modern Warfare, they were the same. But now we're getting another game on the same engine, but we won't be able to play the old. It doesn't connect like the old games, like how Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 2019 tied, tied into Warzone. We're getting a whole new Warzone. So essentially we're getting Warzone 3. And multiplayer, for my multiplayer players out there, the game, I know, is it's so dry. Like, you can't even tell me at least a good solid five good maps that you actually enjoy in Modern Warfare 2, and it's pretty sad. Because it, my, when I do my videos, my watch time drops when I do another map other than a high kill gameplay on shipment. And that should never be the case. The gameplay is just so, so boring to watch. And it's, it's, it's hard to watch. I understand. It definitely is hard to watch. I, I do get it. And another thing we need to talk about is the shadow banding system. The shadow banding system has killed Call of Duty. The anti-ricochet has killed Call of Duty. If you if you follow me on my socials, you know I'm constantly on Twitter asking one of you guys to use one of you guys' account to even play. Or I'm in a Discord. If you're in my Discord server or one of the Discord servers, if you're not, a link in the uh, description. Join the server. I'm asking to play or messaging one of you guys to use your account because I've been shadow banned for the next probably 48, 50 hours. And you know, and if you've been shadow banned before and you're in a loop, you know how it, how it is, bro. It's 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 horrendous. The guys that's actually cheating and they're in the lobby. They're what is it like unlimited sliding through the map and it's just it's just a headache. I mean, we have to come together and fix this anti cheat system because it's just so broken. And I'm tired of you know being banned. And I had to make a new account. Spent spent like eighty dollars for a new account. And I still get shadow banned. I'm on I'm in the loop on both accounts. Just on one account, it happens a lot more. Like a lot. Like I play one game. I I could drop five kills. I'm I'm out of there. Like it's so bad. I don't I don't know. I mean we have to get this together. Modern Warfare 3. It has to be fixed. It it honestly it has to be fixed. And then if you don't if you guys don't remember that when they had uh put out on Twitter the 20 um I was like I wanna say it was 2022, the end of 2022, and it was like should um operators carry over to Modern Warfare 3? And it was like yes yes when is the reveal or maybe that was earlier this year i don't know maybe my time steps i screwed up but they put that out and it went crazy and a lot of people were saying yeah 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 we should definitely be able to use our skins from modern warfare uh 2 to modern warfare 3 but why is that i mean if you know you know like like what are we really getting out of modern warfare 3 that we shouldn't have already had like maps catered towards rushing and not camping no one asked for the casual play i mean obviously the game is fit for casuals that's where you make your sales at i understand that part but you have to cater to both at the end of the day you honestly have to cater to both because if you don't cater to both you lose a portion of that community and that that hurts sales that hurts a lot and that that hurts what brings a community uh community together and i've not seen one person argue that Vondale or Ashika is better than Rebirth Island in any way, shape, or form. Not even the casuals. I haven't heard it been argued not one time. And it's for a reason. And another point I would like to bring up is, remember we were supposed to get Skyrise in this Call of Duty? Why are we getting it in Modern Warfare 3? Why are we getting red dots on the mini-map? Why was that even took out the game? Why are we getting that in the next Call of Duty? Why are suppressors... Why doesn't suppressors work in this game, in Modern Warfare 2? Why don't UAVs work in Modern Warfare 2? Because they don't work accurately. If you play the game enough, you know UAVs do not work accurately. It's it's horrendous. You're like, you use a UAV, and it's a kid next to you, and it, it, won't, it won't show you. But that, that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, why are we spending $70 on another game? 
for something we should have already had. And and for them to sit here and lie on our face and say, oh, no, it's not a DLC. We're getting we're getting this, that, and the third. I mean, we're getting every old map we had back in 2009. I mean, how was that exciting? Like, hey, I mean, yeah, they're updating and doing something new, but don't you guys want something new? We're seventy dollars. I, I, at least I don't want every map that we had in two thousand and nine on launch. Is what I'm saying. I don't think we should get all those maps from two thousand nine on launch. That I do agree we can get maybe Skyrise and uh, Terminal, but other than that, I would, I would you know release them throughout the season and give us a whole fresh set of maps that you put your hard work and time into. But instead, Call of Duty is copied in. Uh, Paste it, and I understand Call of Duty is so hard to make. They've been doing this since the early 2000s, probably before that, probably before I was born, well, definitely before I was born. So I understand that it's hard to keep doing something over and over and over and not copying it in some type of way. But you have to add your own twist to it. And the the maps that I seen from the trailer, like yes, I'm I'm excited for Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, the more and more I think about it, it's like, what am I excited for? It's nothing new. It's something that I, I played in the past that's coming back that should have never been took away, like UAVs and stuff like that. Aggressive play should have never been took away. Um, slide counseling, you can argue that it should have been took away. You can argue that it shouldn't. I think it. I think more of it shouldn't reset your tax print. How about that? I think it should have been balanced. And I, I believe um, everything in the game needs to be balanced in some type of way, but in Modern Warfare 2, it's just I don't know. It's 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 a mess. Like what map do you honestly enjoy playing? Like do you do you get off work or do you get out of school like oh I get to play Modern Warfare two, or do you just go on another game now? Like I think we're at the stage where other people click on uh another game. Like I didn't see my whole like my whole friends list go from like Modern Warfare two. We're on Vondale. Then you know it it was like nothing else to play at the time honestly. I done seen them go um, 2K just dropped. They're on 2K. Maybe back, at, maybe back at Fortnite. And Fortnite's able to keep their players because it's something fresh and new that they haven't done before or something they bring back um, that was taken away. But they always add something new into the game to keep the player base healthy. And the player base in Call of Duty is just not healthy. It's just it's a mess. And everybody, the lobbies, like, why do we have an AI controlling what we say? What happened to the good OG days loading into their game chat, forcing people to go in game chat and search and destroy and talking crazy? I'm the gun, you fucking riot shield. What else is going to do? Oh, riot shield. shield. I'm a pussy that use riot shield. Oh, oh I, I'm a pussy. What, what do you want to use? Up, you tell me what you want to use. You tell me what to fucking use. You tell me what to fucking use. Huh? Tell me what to fucking use. Huh? like those those were the golden days of call of duty like what happened what happened what like why do you ban people for for you know you know saying the f-bomb or whatever the case may be you don't deserve to be banned bro like this game is just, it's all over the place and it lacks so much, like, content. Like, what else do you want, do you guys want to see on this game? Every YouTuber does gameplays, pro moves, uh, video, or pro MZ, I don't know his name, I'll put it up on the screen. His channel is like, it's doing bad because the game is bad. He's good at the game, but the, and the videos are good, but the game is just such in a dry state that, who's watching it? And, I, and I'm willing to bet his, his watch time probably not the best either because the game is so bad. It's it's hard to watch. Even when someone's better than you and you get to watch other people that's better than you, it's still kind of hard to watch. Like, it's, it's just run and shoot. There's nothing else to it. Like And one can argue that that's all Call of Duty. But if, you, if you're if you a true OG of Call of Duty, you know the 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 diverse in the game what made the game good, the intensity, and that... 
That's not in Modern Warfare 2. We struggle with that in Modern Warfare. And another big question is, why didn't they just stick with leaving Modern Warfare 3 a DLC? And if you if you know, and if you've been keeping up with Call of Duty on Twitter, at the beginning of the year, Modern Warfare 3 was going to be a DLC added on to Modern Warfare 2. Why did they not do it as a DLC? Money. Money is everything in gaming, and I don't think Call of Duty is killing itself it's just the time we are is like with gaming that money means everything and if you play games like um 2k and two, uh, 2k 24 uh, it's about i want to say it's about 150 dollars to build a bill and uh, one could argue like that's absolutely insane it, it's honestly a hundred dollars but 150 dollars you might as well get the 150 dollar one because it's like 700k vc but one could argue like yeah we're in the we're just you know we're in that type of time now it's pay to win everything is uh well essentially in call of duty it's, it's pay to play you know to even play the game is i mean they give warzone for free but then you play warzone for free and you can't upgrade your guns or get a good loadout because you have to buy the game you know it's kind of it's kind of like if you don't have this you can't compete with them so essentially call of duty in the warzone phase is essentially pay to win because you have to buy the game even though it says free you still need to buy the game to upgrade your guns at a at a at a decent rate in Warzone, I know it goes slow trying to upgrade your guns and Warzone could be a hassle because you now you gotta get load out, you gotta do this and the third. And it could be a hassle, I know. But a cent like with Fortnite, it's it's free to play. You don't even need a skin to compete. And I think that's the best thing about Fortnite and I think that's the direction Call of Duty needs to head if it's gonna be like this. If Modern Warfare 3 is just what we asked for and like, like no one asked for none of this in modern warfare 2 like no one as a community nobody asked for this everybody had questions first day on launch like you know what happened to the movement all this type of stuff so that just lets you know no one asked for for this type of game so like where did it come from why did the devs put this on us why is call of duty in a dead state right now it's because it's hard to watch i mean hell i can only, I, it's so hard for me to watch my own videos like my own gameplay like i'll sit here like dang like nothing exciting happens. I can drop 200 kills and nothing exciting happened in that video. Like, yeah, you dropped 200. Maybe that was good when the game first came out. But like now that you drop 200 kills, you just drop 200 kills. It's just a running gun game. Like it's nothing in the game. And then I think another factor in the game that the maps are so like they lack so much color. They they they, they truly do. And I think our only hope of getting a good Call of Duty is, is Treyarch. I mean, year in, year out, they have, they have gave us what we wanted. Like, I have no hope in Modern Warfare. I have hope in Modern Warfare 3. I just don't ho have hope for the $70 price tag, and I know that we're not getting our $70 worth. But I do have hope for the game, and I think the game will turn the community around completely, just not for the price tag. Because for $70, and... Obviously, you get the move, you get your bundles from your old the old Call of Duty, but why do you think you get it? Why do you think you get to use the old guns from the old from uh, Modern Warfare 2? It's because it's a DLC. It's just an add-on. They're just giving us new map, new maps, new movement, and the, the simple stuff we asked for: suppressors to work uh, properly, UAVs to work properly. Just the simple stuff, perks, uh, not the ornament game. Just the simple stuff, like and all that could have been done in Modern Warfare 20, uh, Modern Warfare 2. And, and, and one could argue that, you know, it couldn't. But we know deep down that it definitely could have. Like, everything we're getting in Modern Warfare 3 is, it could have been done in Modern Warfare 2. And another thing that we obviously asked for is the the, the dullness on the map suck. Like, it does. Like, it really does. Like, if you're, not, if you're not on PC, then you might as well just like, oh, this game is just, yeah, it's boring. It's, it, I, I mean, that's, that's kind of a petty argument, but color makes a game i mean i don't know about y'all i don't want to sit there and play a dull game all day especially when you you know you do these type of gameplays and these uh this stuff on your channel it's kind of hard to play after so many hours and it, it it gets hard on you but i i don't know man modern warfare 3 i'm not gonna get my hopes up for it i think it's gonna be good to a certain extent but i don't think it's gonna meet the the means of that 70 dollar price tag 
But I don't mean to take up too much of your time. Hopefully, I got across my point across. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, man. It's been your boy Sway, man. I love you guys. I'm out.